Hey, Tyson Mutrix here with Mutrix Firm as your lawyers. And as you can tell, it is snowing outside and you might even be able to hear the snow plow plowing our drive and our, and our parking lot. And I wanna talk about one little thing that you should do if you are involved in a crash in the snow and really in any type of crash. And I want you to do this immediately after the crash. Unfortunately, if you're in one, now I understand that you wanna make sure you're safe and make sure that everyone else around you is safe and that everyone else in the car is safe. So that's number one priority. But immediately after you're out of the crash, you need to have your cell phone on you, you have your, and you need to start taking photographs and video because what we see happen a lot after the crash, people start moving the vehicles and stories begin to change. And they do that because there's no evidence of where the vehicles were positioned when the crash happened. And this happens a lot of times whenever it comes to head-on collisions where one person crossed the center line. And now, obviously, if you're in a head-on collision, you may not you may have to have your wits with you, okay? You, you may be a little bit out of it. So I understand that. And I understand that in some of these situations anyways, you might have just gotten your face hit by an airbag. Your, your cell phone might have flown somewhere. I, I get all that, okay? So don't, don't think I'm discounting that. But once you've gotten your wits, uh, you need to grab your phone, start, start taking photographs and video, preferably video. You know, just start walking around the, the vehicle, uh, both of them with, with the, the video camera, or just shoot outside your windshield, through your windshield, and, and get as much as you can because that way it prevents the defendant from changing their story as to what happened after the crash. That, that, this doesn't matter whether it's an intersection crash, whether it's a head-on collision, whether it's a rear-end collision, whatever it may be, any type of crash, this applies to any of them because I've seen a lot of doozies when it comes to lies on the defense side. So just make sure you get as much evidence as you can to shore up liability. That way you're not arguing about that later on down the road. That way you can focus on the damages part of it. You can focus on getting better and then getting the case resolved. All right, if you have any other questions, feel free to call us 888-550-4026. Check out our website, tysonmetrics.com, where we have a lot of explainer information there, explainer videos. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel and also like us on Facebook because we share just a lot of great information every single day when it comes to, uh, comes to legal stuff or recipes or other fun stuff. We have a lot of stuff that we share there every day. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.